everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. And when we last left off, um, things were continuing as, well, normal as for this Let's Play anyway, but we are not going to give up, because why bother? You know, if we're going to give up we might as well just not, not continue playing. So we're going to do our best to try and ensure a happy way of life for all XCOM operatives in the future and beyond. I think I'm going to keep Mr. Plough there and move rubbish, or rubbish is dead, so just move here so you can put, you know, ammunition can be collected at a convenient time. Thank you. Revenge of the Goat, we need to, need to move in. We need, to have the, we need to have our units converging upon the opening that has been created in the craft. We'll also have our croissant come down soon and multi prong it. Rubbish has died as expected, providing yet another kill to the tally. Woo! Let's see if we can beat last. I can't remember if I counted the kills last time. Um, last. The normal XCOM, sorry. Jolly Roger, a corpse. Put a grenade, that's worth to you. Stay. Oh, sorry, man. Yawning. It's horrible. Grow up, Tristan. Grow up. As if. As if yawning is childish. Yep, yawning is childish, everybody. Oh, your energy's done. The moderate judge now needs to crouch, being prepared to unleash a devastating projectile attack. Or if it ever seems necessary. That's enough for this turn. And now a new turn beckons. Mr. Plough, in position. And now, Revenge of the Goat. And the Chrysonolans, who shall probably spearhead the attack because our, well, it's a bit more expendable, isn't it? Hello! You can't see us, can you? No! Can we kill you though? Maybe. It didn't work. How unsurprising. Throw your gun here. You still can't fire it. How disappointing. Oh well. Um, that was interesting. Now I want you to throw this gas cannon. Over here. Excellent work, everybody. Tag team! The moderate judge, you may equip your gas can. That's enough for this turn. More guys walk in and out. None of them are fired upon. Until now! Now that one person was stunned. I would be in that uh, situation. I mean, seriously, it's quite a big rocket. I mean, whoa! Rocket! Stunnage. Um, someone did also go out the door. We'd be ready for them. The goat. Now has revenge. As well as Jolly Roger. He used to be at the ready. And Mr. Plough shall creep forward like a ninja. Ninja. End turn. Something was thrown. And the person died for it. The grenade went off on the roof. Which is nice. Well done on the reaction fire though, guys. It's happy to see some XCOM operatives in the final days are proving, you know, not, not that bad. You know, they're actually getting better. Okay, well, we're into the go goat. Who did the reaction shot? Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger's actually proving to be a pretty good soldier. If I had a choice of promotions, he'd be the one to get it. I 
I have a feeling, though, that the enemy is hiding in these little locked off areas here because they haven't been opened up. Am I right? Probably. I usually am. I don't mean that in a sort of, you know, ridiculous, narcissistic sort of way. Thank you, Mr. Plough. Someone had to do it. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, we need to position ourselves so we're ready to continue the attack. Uh, the moderate judge should stand here. Now we need to have someone else closer, but not that badly close. Because the moderate judge really is actually quite exposed. As we've come to expect. Now let's hope for the best. Excellent work. Okay. Mr. Plough. Nothing there so far. Or there. Keep looking that way. Let's have the moderate judge come forth and back you up. Actually, that's not. Jolly Roger. How much damage you did? Whoa, man! Okay, that 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 um, kill man revived. Well done on Revenge of the Goat for actually managing to kill it. Um, but it see appears that we have also lost our Crisonolum, and with it, yeah, we also killed um, the moderate judge, whose moderation proved not to be um, helpful after all. But we're still a jolly Roger. We don't have that stunned kill man anymore. But, you get what you get, I suppose. Well, well done for at least pulling off the reaction shot and actually hitting, though. Gotta give the man credit. Didn't totally botch the job. No, he's not here. I don't put an anticlimax. So that means this guy's still out here somewhere. After all that, there you go. Sometimes surprises can happen. What areas are unexplored? Let's grab some of these guys. Luca, you can come over this way. And once again, not enough time units. And the Ack of Glory shall also navigate in a sort of northwesterly direction. But of course this is isometric, so the compass bearings could mean anything. Thank you, Roxas. Now, screw the steam. That's good. And we need this alien to show itself. Well, these are gilmen, so we can actually legitimately have guys and girls, because gilmen are actually anatomically correct. They don't have some sort of genocidal jealousy going on. But they've just allied themselves with the wrong team. And that's what you get. You get the power of gas cannons and your own guns being used against you. That's the wrath of Kilkakon. Something like that. It's a shame to leave the Chrysanolith, but we do have three. So, not such a tearjerker. But we'll do what we can to try and avoid losing them all the time. But as I said before, displacers are the, not the holy grail, but pretty close to it. They will provide an edge, which we currently do not possess. And we, let's face it, we do need an edge. Some would say we need a, a sharp edge, but any sort of edge would do. I am not going to complain about the quality of the edge, as long as it actually is an edge and I'm not falling behind. End turn. I think we found our enemy. He doesn't know how to throw grenades, which is somewhat informative, because we do know how to throw grenades, don't we, Jolly Roger? Because you're good at everything. Look at that accuracy, 80%. Yep, that's good. Now, we also have another guy up here. Fortunately, Roxas being at the edge of the map, 
Just goes, huh, I can. Roxas is a girl, by the way. Um, I hope they didn't shatter anyone's dreams. Um, wasn't entirely sure where that particular shot came from, though. Scooper Steve's on the case, though. And... What we'll do is we'll just... Well, do what we can, I suppose. And turn. That one got one. And Roxas is dead. Revenge of the Goat has panicked. Okay. Well, I didn't know where that guy guy was, but we might as well finish the stage. It's ridiculously bad as it's been. Um, it was must have been pretty close, though. Yeah, I was close. I'll finish it. Well, don't finish it, then. Just sit there awkwardly. Um, Yak of Glory. Prepare a grenade. And throw this grenade here. I'll just do it. Don't give me love games. Thank you. There we go. Mission complete. It's an okay rating. Um, we did lose a few points, lost a few operatives. Important thing is we've got equipment and score. 94 isn't fantastic. And promotions. Mr. Plough and Jolly Roger have been promoted. Not enough torpedoes to arm the SWS, apparently. Just need to purchase some more Aquajet torpedoes. Excellent, and we'll worry about all the rest of the stuff afterwards. So when we come back, more XCOM.